Hey guys, if you make a common mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on repairs that you may actually not need. Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Dodge Ram that generation here from year 2013 to year 2018. If you have one of those, if you have a problem, guys, okay, where you have a warning that says on the dash key, FOB not detected, stay with us, we'll explain what can cause that. It could be super simple fix, but it could be something more complicated as well. We will talk about that, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix anything like engines, transmission, codes, fuses, bodywork, all that stuff. Why we do all that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. On this channel guys, specifically, we will be making a video about every single fuse, every single relay on that Dodge Ram and let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse goes bad, all we have to do, find our video, watch it for a minute or two, replace that fuse, you're back on the road. So we do that guys to help you as much as we can. Also, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's start on it now. So guys, if you have a problem where they have that warning key fob not detected on your Dodge, guys, okay, what can, uh, on your Dodge and what can easily cause that, guys? The first most probable cause for that is a weak or dead battery in the key. If you want to see how to replace key battery on Dodge Ram, we have the video on our YouTube channel. But it could be other things as well, that's why I want to share all that information with you. So what you guys need to do, uh, we're going to go ahead, open here as the hood and under the hood on the driver's side, you have the car battery, in front of it you have the main fuse box. Press these two tabs at the same time, open that cover on the inside, you'll find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse puller and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, realize at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. So guys, if you have that warning, key fob not detected, what can easily cause that, or key fob not recognized, it could be multiple things guys, but uh, first, of course, could be the key battery, right? But that key battery can easily cause that, but it could be other things as well. Now, please make sure to stand till the end, we want to give you one good advice, that way you don't end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us. You need to guys check a few fuses, one of them is fuse number 46, right here. You need to check fuse 51 and 52, all these three fuses. 52 is very important fuse guys and 51 as well. That's for the RF hub module. RF hub is the radio frequency module that detects and reads the key. This is a device usually it's behind the back seat on Dodge Ram and uh, practically reads your key. And if it fails, it may not even start, it may not recognize the key. You will need to buy a new one, program it and make it work. It's not too complicated. We'll be making a video how to program RF hub module. Now, another thing could be a bad key. For any of you that want to see how to program a key, we'll have the video on the channel. It takes only probably a minute or two to program a key as well. But those will be the main things that we're going to check. 
So guys, you have all kinds of different fuses and relays. Some of those are very specific, they're hard to find, especially if you're in a small town or in the middle of nowhere. One time we needed a replacement, we couldn't find one and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere for a few days until we got a shipment on the internet, guys. So keep some spares in your glove box for peace of mind. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.